Hello everyone, it's Alexo again, and today I just want to go very briefly over the campaign, because you can skip the campaign entirely, pretty much, right? With the dungeons, or um, even because you get to the monoliths in chapter 3, and then, or after chapter 3 rather, and then people think, do I even need to keep playing? And the answer is yes, because there are a bunch of things you only get within the campaign, and I'm going to show you. For example, if you go into the game and you go to your map, you see your quests on the left, right? And some of the quests, for example, the hidden gems in chapter 5 over here, if you scroll down here, you should go here so this vanishes. You get a passive point, right? Extra passive points. But also, over here, for example, the Admiral's Dreadnought in chapter 4, that gives you an idle inventory expansion slot. So you have to do these, okay? This is the only way to make your idle inventory bigger. See, with this character, it, I only have these three, and you can open all these up. So you have to play the campaign to get there, even though you get to the end of time after chapter three. But there's more in a second. So you can check this on the left. You see on the bottom, actually you can't see because I'm in the way. Let me vanish for a second. You see in the bottom left down here, it says passive point rewards, 11 of 15, and idle slot rewards, three of eight. So, 8 is the maximum number of idle slots you can unlock, pretty much. And the passive points reward is 15 you can gain within the campaign extra on top of your regular farming. Or faster, I should say. You gain these faster. And I would highly recommend you do these because the sooner you have your, idle, uh, your, your passive points, the stronger your character is. But there's one more key thing, and that is you have to beat the end boss in this game, which is Majasa over here. I think I can't even see her yet in... Oh, it's over here, yeah. Um, it doesn't show... There, there it is. The Majelkan... There it is. The Chamber of Vessels. This is it. This is the very last end of the game where you fight Majasa, this snake queen thingy. And if you kill her, you get plus one to all attributes on your character permanent, like a blessing. And you want to have this, right? You don't want to miss out on that. Plus, you get all the, the benefits of killing her. But you can do this later, right? But at some point, after you do the monoliths, you should come back. If Once she, once she's easy and you can one-shot her or whatever with your build, come back and kill Majasa. So this is the key thing. You get your idle inventory slots from the campaign. You get your passive points, 15 of them. And you get your plus one tool attributes. So you have to play the campaign to an extent. Right? You don't have to do everything. You can go, for example, the classic way really for most softcore characters is you go from Act 1 to 5, which is like over here, right? Once you get to the Oracle's abode, because then you get a quest about the Sapphire Tablet. Once you fulfill that quest, you can go here to the last dungeon, which is the Temporal Sanctum dungeon, which you will need a lot later to craft legendaries. And once you go through this, you're pretty much done. You don't have to do um, the chapters 6, 7, 8, and 9. Really only to kill maybe Majasa later. But that's about it. You don't have to do any, any other ones. This is for softcore characters because in the Temporal Sanctum you might die. If you play hardcore, you should go to 7, chapter 7 at least. And then go into the Temporal Sanctum dungeon over here. Um, before that, it's a bit diff or dangerous for your hardcore character to die. So I wouldn't recommend this. This is basically idea so far now this is also as the making of this video because the campaign isn't finished in this game yet they have announced there are more chapters coming i believe three more up to chapter 12 at least so there is more coming we don't know what the benefits of that will be but as it is now you have to play at least these to get your rewards and again you can just click on this See it yourself over here, this has one passive point if you finish that, and you see your idle inventory expansion. You don't care about experience or gold, that's irrelevant, you get this anyway. But these are the ones you want and need. Yeah, that pretty much answers the question. You kind of have to do the campaign a little bit, to an extent. And I will go, I will make a video on with the whole campaign walkthrough. And also a video, the fastest way to get through the campaign. With all these benefits, because there's some, there are actually more than 15 quests that give you passive points but there is a way to go through the fastest and this i will show you in another video i just wanted to make this video to make it clear you don't have to do that you don't have to play the entire campaign but some parts of it you should play i hope it helped and i'll see you in the next video